Have you ever heard the saying, fences can make for great neighbors? Hi, I'm Scott Jacobs with Jacobs & Company, and I wanna to talk to you about the importance of obtaining a property survey when you're purchasing a home, or any property for that matter. A survey back in the day was known as meets and bounds from the corner of the very large rock to the tall oak tree, from the tall oak tree to the fence post. Long gone are those days. Uh, we still do see property surveys like that. It makes it obviously very difficult to understand a property corner uh, when you're looking at meets and bounds because you know what? Maybe that tall oak tree fell over years ago. Maybe that rock disappeared, right? You know, that fence post doesn't exist anymore. Surveys today are really transits uh, with lead pipes in the ground from point to point, very specific degrees and feet and inches to make sure exactly uh, what is yours and what belongs to your neighbor. Years ago, it was absolutely commonplace. If you're gonna buy a property, your lender and therefore your mortgage lender would require you, okay, as a buyer to obtain a physical property survey. Uh, now, physical property surveys are, you know, dependent, you know, in terms of pricing on the size, the shape, uh, if they're heavily wooded, if they're, you know, the terrain. Uh, and oftentimes they can become very expensive. Fast forward to today, for the last several years, large in part, every mortgage lender has now treated this as an option. It's not mandatory. So what happens when you're a consumer and then all of a sudden you're buying a home, which is your most expensive asset that you'll ever purchase in your life. And you know, you're counting the pennies, right? You know, and you're trying to, you know, be a diligent saver so you can afford this asset. Uh, but then all of a sudden you're hit with a line item as an option to obtain a property survey. And it might be a thousand dollars. It might be five or $10,000. And you make a conscious effort to say, ah, do I really need one? Maybe I'll forego it. Not the thing to save money on. You know, you could have a hundred acre property and we'll write into contracts with meets and bounds without a survey prevalent uh, to say a hundred acres plus or minus. By the time, if anybody actually did the survey, you could find yourself in many cases losing acreage significant acreage, like many acres of land, and or in some rare cases, gaining acreage, okay? Um, however, you don't really understand until you get a property survey done. I sold a farm here recently. It was a very large parcel. I think it was about a $3,500 expenditure and the, the buyers decided to forego uh, obtaining the survey only two months later to say, hey, you know, I think we'll get a survey because we want to put up some fencing and kind of just understand, you know, kind of what's ours and what's our neighbors, only to find out that over half of their driveway in their initial entrance to access their property was entirely upon somebody else's property. Big problem. Title insurance will not protect you in the event that you do not obtain a physical survey. If you're just buying a property, you know, you got these visions of like your next door neighbor, like bringing you cookies and welcoming you to the neighborhood. You know, uh, the last thing you wanna do is have a property boundary dispute, you know, uh, which ultimately will end up inside of a courtroom. And this is your neighbor for the next foreseeable future, years. Um, that's not how everybody wants to start off owning a home or any property for that matter. I think we would agree with that. So look, I wanna stress the importance of obtaining a survey. It is an additional expense, but it could save you big time in the long run. Once again, my name is Scott Jacobs with Jacobs & Company. We run across these things all the time. If you have any questions you know, about obtaining a property survey, certainly with our 20 plus years of experience in this local market, we certainly have a vast Rolodex of amazing surveyors uh, that uh, can give you quotes and make sure that you're getting the best advice. And if you have any questions regarding any of this, you can always reach out to me at area code 703-346-5855. We hope to talk to you soon. Thank you so much.